Hello and welcome to Backyard Birds. My name is Lisa and I'm a librarian at St. Albert Public Library and today we have joining us our resident bird expert Hannah who is a U of A student in animal biology. So today we'd like to talk to you about what kind of birds can you see in your neighborhood. You don't have to go very far to see birds. You just have to watch and listen. So we're here in a neighborhood. It's not a rural neighborhood. We're just right in the heart of the city and mid-afternoon and it's fairly quiet right now. It's a little bit windy, but we can hear a few birds. Yeah, so far you might have heard a junco flying overhead. Uh, those stay here all year round, but this is the time of year when a lot of birds will be coming back. So, for example, some of the robins have started to come back. You may have seen geese flying overhead. Some of the waxwings have started to leave. They actually go further north, which is interesting. And the cedar waxwings will be coming back to replace them. And you might see some of the waxwings feasting on trees that have berries, like mountain ash berries. So here we are in close to my neighborhood and we're listening for birds. Yep. So we can hear a few chirps coming from just ahead of us. Chirps are fairly hard to identify, but it sounds like a house finch. If you start singing, then we'll know for sure. We'll get a bit closer and see if we can tell. This is a male house finch. The lighting's fairly poor from this angle, but you can see that he's got red on his head. And he's just sitting there, licking his tail. This is a type of bird you can see year round, although they start singing more in the spring. So this is a great way to get you out of the house and do something fun as a whole family. It's good for all ages because every neighborhood has birds. Oh, and there's a chipmunk there too. It doesn't have to be just birds. There's lots of small mammals, squirrels, and also mice as well. So you can still hear that house finch chirping. That's, that's a very characteristic finch noise. So we just spotted something pretty exciting. See this little guy up there on that tree? That is a downy woodpecker. And a downy woodpecker is quite small. What colorings did they have, Hannah? Well, like most woodpeckers, they're black and white. The males will have a red spot on the back of the head. You mm -hmm. can sometimes find them at bird feeders, especially if you have suet. So here we have a male house sparrow. They're probably the most common residential bird, and you can often find them at bird feeders. You can tell it's a male because of the white and black patterned face. Thank you very much for joining us and we look forward to seeing you next week.